David Kotkin. I'm the inventor of the Avenger, and I'm the president of the company. Now, what I want to show you is the Avenger and what it does. For example, you take your normal controller. We give you a little cushion here that you put on the tip here. It shouldn't be on this one. I don't know why they put it on there. It be on this end. It goes in the Avenger. Goes in the Avenger. And normally, what you could do as far as gameplay is you press this trigger. So if you're norm use normally using a normal 360, you would do this. But with Avenger, I can do this. One, two, three, four. And one movement, and my thumb stayed here. So that's the advantage. And then also, I have a stand here. My hands never get hot. There's no stress on my, my wrist. And I'm also faster, and I'll tell you how I'm faster. I'm 45, but look at this right here. My thumbs are dirty because I was bleeding. It's not food. Okay, I, I cut myself. But anyways, let's. I'm 45 and I want to get from, and I'm going against Superman. Superman has his finger on a regular controller. Superman's thumb is here and my thumb is here. Are you ready? On your market set, I won. The reason is because I'm already at the finish line. You can't be faster than being at the finish line. So when my hand is here, I'm on it. I'm already there. So that's what makes me faster. And so when you when you add all the oh did I go through the triggers? The triggers just the slightest pull. We've done trick experiments and it takes a half a pound to pull a trigger normally. With the Avenger, it takes around two ounces. Okay, one third. I mean one third the effort. And if you look at also look at the firing. I don't know if you can hear the firing in the game, but I. I am basically, I have more control because the, the preload is adjusted. Most of us go all the way down. What a waste of time. Real gamers don't do that. They, they fire like that, but I can do it now. And I can rapid fire because I'm not wasting a lot of time. There's a point where it fires that we go past that point. That also goes for the zoom too. So I'm sp saving a lot of time, a lot of stress, and uh, you're just going to have a better or more immersive gaming experience. It's not like a mod where you feel like you're out of the gaming experience. You're in the gaming experience because you have the heartbeat of the game. It's like you're a doctor and you have your pulse. You have the pulse of the patient. Your your pulse is on every part of the body. Your fingers on every pulse. And so I'm I'm everywhere. And it just makes the game a lot more fun. And you can do so many different things. You can hoop this. You can have a hoop here. You can unhoop it. You can put it through the back. You can adjust these levers any which way you want. You want it out more. You don't want it there. You want this down here. The, the, the stress, the, look at the pressure. That's all it takes to move that trigger. Try pressing a button down with a card. You can't do it. So uh, what, what is the learning curve for this around? I would say the average person will see the advantages right away, just like you do. If you touch this, you'll see the advantage. As far as going, becoming proficient in it, I would say two hours, you become very good at it. My son won his first game online after two hours. To get really get used to I have a lot of people who say, oh, it's okay. And then they call me back three hours later. I'm starting to like it. They call me back three days later. I love it. Four days later, how can I get more? So that's really, I, I, honestly, 100%, that's what people do. They, they, they basically, I'm not going to lie, not everyone loves it right away because you have to get used to it. But once they get into it, their game score goes up. Like, from, like I used to only get 10 kills, now I'm getting 25. I mean, really, really big. Well, right now they're they're coming in black, but we're 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 coming out with the newer model because these are basically testers right now. Okay. But the newer model is coming out where this is going to be all all black um, gloss paint in here. This rubber that which is the nicest thing is going to go all through this everywhere. It's going to have rubber, and then it's going to have gloss accents here here similar to this. But, but the rubber is going to go through the tray, underneath, everywhere, so you're not going to have any plastic. The whole thing is going to have a nice rubber feel to it. And talking about feels, the, the Avenger doesn't change the feel of the controller. That was the hardest thing to do. Every engineer wants to change it. And I knew the history of controllers. You don't change somebody's controller. You don't change the PS3 controller, and you don't change the Xbox 360 controller. If anyone knows the history, you don't change it. You, you just don't mess with it. So basically, getting this, this B out of the way so you could just reach out and touch it was very hard for me to get done. But it took around three years to get this done. Wow. So, uh, where can we find it? Where can we buy it? And how much is it? Avengercontroller.com. And right now, 
is going for $39 for the next two weeks, and then we're we're not sure on the price. It's either going to be $49 or $59. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay.